It's interesting. I've spent, uh, I'm, I've now done 30 odd books, and a lot of the earlier ones were very much Highlands and Islands. Um, and uh, Dundee is, um, is my hometown, um, although I haven't actually lived here for a while, but I, I never ever thought of anywhere else as home, and I keep coming back a lot. Um, and I find that more and more um, I'm, I'm kind of summoned into the uh, uh, the East Coast lowland environment, um, yeah, um, alongside the, the Highlands thing. Um, when I did a, a book uh, three or four years ago called The Eagle's Way, um, it stemmed directly from the reintroduction of sea eagles onto um, the East Coast of Tensmuir. Um, and uh, the impact that they have had, uh, and the fact that they started to, uh, some of the birds that were r raised here went right across the country to Mull, almost the first thing they did. Um, and uh, where there is a, you know, a long established um, sea eagle population. Um, and uh, I started to find um, things like uh, young sea eagles roosting right in the middle of the country in Loch Tay um, and hanging out with young golden eagles. So it kind of developed the idea in my mind that there was some kind of cross country, almost like an eagle highway. Um, so that itself, um, the seed for that book and that project was sown from here, from Tensmuir. The idea that um, that we are somehow you know, s separated from nature is just nonsense. And anybody who looks at it with any kind of uh, thoughtfulness and, and dispassionately um, cannot fail to be impressed by how much um, a healthy... Uh, environment, a healthy planet, um, healthy biodiversity is, is good for us. Uh, and I just think that there was never a more important time for a vigorous body of nature writing.